Men Bun Metal Ed here. In this video, I'm going to give you a pretentious review of the Line 6 Relay G70. Coming right up. If you're looking for a guitar wireless system, the G70 or G75, which pretty much are the same, just with a different receiver format, um, they're going to be on the higher end of the uh, systems that you're looking at. So the system comes in at $500 for the receiver and one transmitter. And each transmitter, if you want to add more, costs an additional $200. Now the system I have, I have one uh, receiver and I have two transmitters. Now, I think using this system with only one transmitter, um, makes it a little pointless because a lot of there's a lot of functionality in here uh, to use multiple transmitters so I'll, I'll get into that in a little bit the g70 and actually all of the line 6 relay series are all uh, digital uh, wireless now what's the difference between a digital and a radio frequency wireless basically a radio frequency as you get further away is going to start to become staticky so the farther away you get the more static it'll get uh, with a digital system when you get out of range, you just get dropout. So your signal just stops. Now these systems are rated up to like 300 or 600 feet uh, in a straight line, which is pretty important. Uh, they, they go down significantly if you're going through walls. But if you're playing at a venue, um, I mean, you're probably not gonna get 600 feet away from your rigs, so, or 300 feet away from your rig. I mean, that's a football field. Uh, so you should be all right there. So let's get into this wireless system. All right, so let's start with everything that comes in the box. Now, first we have the receiver and the transmitter. So you get one of each. Uh, you get a uh, guitar cable. You get some extra nuts here for the uh, transmitter. You get uh, a USB charger with the USB cable. And that is a micro USB cable there. And then the uh, charger itself doesn't come with a connector on it, but you get all these uh, or four different connectors here. So let's go into detail with the transmitter. So the transmitter is a really, really nice case. Uh, it's nice metal, solid. The other transmitters that they offer with other many, uh, with the other models, the G30, G50, G90, G10, they're all plastic housing. So this is a nice solid. Um, it has a quarter inch connector and the cable that comes with it has a nice uh, locking mechanism in here. So you can turn it on, lock it down, and you, you can't pull it off. Uh, but what makes what's nice about this, though, uh, unlike the G50 um, and the G90, which use the same transmitter, you can use any quarter inch. So I like to use these 90 degree ones, uh, but they don't have a lock. But I, I don't. I never have a problem with it. It's never come uh, apart on me in a gig or at practice. Now you'll see this has a blue nut on here and I have uh, another blue one here, but five other different nuts. And this is really nice for color coding your transmitters. So I actually have two transmitters here. I'll explain how I use these a little later on, but you can see they each have their own nut attached to it. So they're really easy to distinguish back and forth. So then we have the power on and off on here. And then we have an indicator light to show that it is on. And we have our metal uh, clip. Now, a lot of people have um, complained about this clip. Um, I don't think it's as bad as a lot of people think. I've never had a problem at a gig uh, with this ever coming loose. However, uh, if we can take it apart here, really you can see all it is is two uh, metal kind of spring tabs that go into the side here that hold it together. So the only time I've ever had a problem with this is either more than likely taking it off or putting it, um, sometimes putting it on, but most of the time it's, it's taking it off. But other than that, it's, it's, it tends to be real simple. Um, it's good tension, good spring, never had it fall off. I like it. Um, but it could be a possible downside maybe for some people. So, um, on here, if we turn it on, you can see a flash. Now this is the channel number of the uh, unit so you get channels 1 through 16 this is set up for 15 and it goes away um so I need to do that but now we can open this up and it's going to open up two ways two clicks so there's the first click 
And in here we have our channel up and down. So now we can use this to change the channel of our uh, unit. And we have a sleep function here. Now what this will do is if this doesn't feel any um, sig any guitar signal or vibrations, it'll actually um, turn off and go into a standby mode. Um, it works sometimes if you're at a loud gig uh, where you have um, a lot of bass, stuff that's going to make this rumble around. It's, it doesn't really work. Uh, it does from time to time. But if you do leave it in standby mode and leave it on overnight, uh, it will kill the battery. Um, done that multiple times. And then we have a USB port here uh, for um, pretty much updating this. And it's really actually easy to update. So we press these buttons in here on the side and pull out one more. And then we got the batteries. Now, right now I have regular alkaline batteries in here. I usually use um, rechargeables, which I have right in here uh, because um, I just go through a lot of batteries. They're really easy to recharge. Uh, the only thing which I'll get into later is with the rechargeables, the accuracy of the uh, time left on the batteries themselves is uh, is not right because uh, of the way the batteries are going to um, discharge. But we'll get into that. So for the receiver, uh, we got a lot more going on here. On the front here, we got our push button for changing scenes, going to tune mode, uh, muting, whatnot. Uh, you have a little uh, LED here to say you're getting show you're getting signal from a transmitter. You get the home button, um, a navigation button will turn and push, um, an edit button. On go on this side. On this side we have uh, three outputs. We have a out A, out B, which you can configure what scene goes to what uh, output, and you have a tuner output, which is always on. And then here you have an auxiliary in, which is really nice about this unit. Is not only do you get the wireless, but if you, for some reason, need to add another guitar you don't have a unit for, you can use this auxiliary input um, to make it really easy. And I, I really like that feature. So then on the back here, we have a USB input for charging and for updating firmware. We also have a 9-volt DC input, which is awesome if you want to, if you have a power supply already on your pedal board. So you can use this or the USB, which I, I really think is a great feature. And then you have your power on off switch in here. You have an XLR output to go to a board if you want to do that. And then you have a ground lift for that XLR output to go and power that on. So power that right on. So it powers up really quick. Um, so I have, and I actually still have my transmitter on, I forgot to turn that off, but um, it's showing that I have eight hours and 55 minutes of uh, playtime left on this transmitter. Like I said, I don't use alkaline, but I've heard this is very true um, to keeping up with that estimate. With the rechargeables, it'll start about seven hours because they're slightly lower voltage, but it'll stay between six and seven hours for a long time. And once it gets down to three, it'll kind of just drop to three real quick. Then you know you, you got to change them because they'll probably only last another 15 minutes or so. Um, but that's what you got for the alkaline. Now you can see here, I had this scene set up, um, kind of looks maybe purple in that video, but this is actually a more of a blue to match my blue transmitter. Um, and if I can show you just what the scenes I have set up. So if I want to go to the next scene, um, it's going to be white, and that's actually going to be uh, just my auxiliary um, input. And you can see that's the where the auxiliary input is showing. And then we go to uh, the next one, and this is going to be my orange to match my orange transmitter. So if we turn that on, power it up, and now it's connected, and then it's going to show you our time there. So six hours, 25 minutes left on this. Supposedly, um, it is a little off, but you can see this is uh, looking for signal four that was on uh, sig channel four. Um, and then it also shows you what outputs this goes to. So we've got it going to right now to output A and B. And that's pretty much it as far as um, switching scenes. Now, if we want to make a scene, it's actually really simple. Um, we'll go to edit and then navigate down to add scene. So we add us, we hit, click the navigation button to add a scene and then we select which channel we want to add. So say we'll go, I don't know, channel six. So now we can name the scene. We'll just name it scene four. Um, we can, if we want to go back down here, we can change the scene back again. We can turn the cable tone on and off. So the cable tone is supposed to simulate uh, a cable length. So we can go back here, 
you can go uh, to three foot, five foot, 10, uh, all the way up to a hundred foot um, guitar cable. Now, I don't like this feature at all. It's not similar to me to a cable because um, I did basically back to back comparison and it just was not there at all. So I don't, I don't use that at all. Um, you can have your output. So this is set to A and C and go all the way just A, output to B, C, and then a combination of all three. Or you can just set it up. This could just be a mute channel. So we'll say, why not? We'll go to uh, A, B, and C. You can do a gain on the output here, which is a nice, nice deal. You can go uh, positive, well, positive 12 to negative 18. So you got a nice range there. You can do your switch color. So that's the ring around here. So we got all kinds of options here. And those will all match with uh, these washers here that come with it. We'll set it to aqua. Why not? All right. And we can remove the scene for, um, and go to back to another scene. Now the last few options are pretty much settings for the entire uh, unit. LCD brightness, uh, just high or low. And then auxiliary in, you can do always on. So you can have that auxiliary input always on, or you can do based on just scene only. So I have mine set up for scene. Uh, you can do in, uh, some info and you can do a factory reset. We're not gonna do that. So that's um, pretty much that as far as setting that up. So another option we have on here is the uh, tuner or mute. So hold that button down for a little bit. It'll bring up the tuner and also mute it as well. You push the button back and it goes back to its normal function. So that's pretty much all the features of the G70. Um, and the G75 is pretty much going to be the same thing, except it's not going to be in a pedal format like this. It's going to be more of a, not necessarily a rack format, but something that um, you put on, on top of a rack unit or something like that. The only difference between that and this is the G75 has a remote um, output option. So when it comes down to it, uh, I think this system is absolutely fantastic. The system itself, base cost is $500. So it comes with the receiver and the transmitter, um, plus all the other kind of things in there. But what is awesome about this is the expandability of getting that um, second transmitter or third or fourth or fifth. Now you can have up to 16 different uh, transmitter, transmitters at a time. Um, that's if you, know, you have 16 G70s. But what's awesome, and, and you saw the change in the scenes, um, these things can be switched out just like that. I mean, I hit the button, pick up another guitar, and it's ready to go in, in less than 30 seconds. So uh, it's great for live scenarios. I absolutely love it for that. I don't have to change transmitters. I don't have to turn one transmitter off and another one on. I can just leave them on, hang in there. It's an absolutely fantastic system. You know, another great thing about these are the output options. Having uh, an A and B output, uh, a quarter inch, plus the XLR, it just really opens this up for having all kinds of uh, different options to output to. Uh, the tuner output is fantastic. Um, I don't use it for that. I actually have my ES8 doing that. But also having that tuner function on there is also cool. Again, having those options, awesome. And you probably heard me say this a hundred times, but just all the options of this just make it absolutely fantastic and so easy to use. Now, the only other thing that I uh, would like to change or have added on there is some sort of MIDI input or MIDI functionality or having the remote uh, function on here as well. But how does this do out there? Is it is it perfect? Do they have no drop, dropouts? I certainly have dropouts from time to time. Um, it happens. Uh, I don't know what causes it, um, if I tend to get a dropout here and there, it's probably less than a quarter second and they, they are few and far between. Um, it might be because I'm close to a wireless router uh, that might do it. I, I really haven't pinned it down. These are on the 2.4 gigahertz band, uh, which is exactly the same as the uh, you're going to get off a wireless router. So that could be it. Um, I've noticed some, I get it more times at home than I do um, out at a gig. Uh, but when I'm at the gig, I'm not anywhere near a wireless router. So maybe that's it. 
But if I notice I'm, I'm getting a lot of dropouts, I'll go ahead and change the channel and typically that'll do it. So, um, yeah, for the most part, I, I, I mean, really on all parts, I am absolutely happy with this. Absolutely love it. Um, and I would totally recommend getting this and especially over some of the other, um, options out there, uh, like the sure and, and some of the other ones is just the functionality of being able to switch back and forth between transmitters, uh, just so easily. Um, it's just absolutely, absolutely fantastic. So what do you think about the G70 or the G75 or the G50 or the G90 or the G10 or the G30? Let me know. Uh, what have you experienced? Do you guys have any problems with these? Uh, do you guys have any success stories? Let me know. Leave in the comments down below there. And hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, please give me a like. Uh, and if you want to hear more about what I'm working on, uh, other reviews and tips and tricks I'm going to be putting out here in the future or, or I have in the past, uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel and you'll get updated as soon as those come out. But hey, until next time, rock on.